We get quite a few customers asking how RMS helps fulfill data integrity requirements. So we thought we would do a video to show you. In this video, we'll show you where we'll explain what data integrity is, what RMS is and how RMS helps. So first of all, data integrity, it's the maintenance of and the assurance of the accuracy and consistency of data over its entire lifetime. So basically, we want to make sure that the data has not been changed. Nobody has access to it and it cannot be changed. And so we do that through the Rotronic monitoring system. So I'll log on to the system through Google Chrome. I'll just expand the screen and I'll go on to the Rotronic website, www.rotronic.com. And we have here a button for RMS, Rotronic Monitoring System. Um, so the Rotronic Monitoring System is a GAMP 5 Category 4 software combined with a Category 1 hardware. This helps users monitor their GXP compliant applications, looking specifically into the critical quality attributes and monitoring critical process parameters, helping focus on patient safety, product quality, and data integrity. So this software is compliant to UDRELX Annex 11 and the FDA 21 CFR Part 11. So here we'll go to login. Uh, we've set up a company called Rotronic Monitoring System. A username, we've added a username called PST and the password is 12345678. We can click on login and here straight away we can see that we're coming into the Rotronic Monitoring System software. So in terms of data integrity, we've set up here RMS features, up a part called data integrity. If we look under the layouts, we can show you here how RMS helps you with your data integrity requirements. So in stage one, we can see no loss of data. All of the RMS is the all of the RMS devices are data loggers, so they store the measurement values on the data logger itself. So we have a wireless data logger. This can be powered via battery and 24 volts. So if the power fails, the 24 volts fail, there's a battery backup. As soon as the battery gets low, there is a warning that will come up telling you that the battery is low and it needs to be changed. Uh, we have the other wireless data logger, the smaller one. So this one is only battery powered. But the same thing here, you will get a reminder uh, saying that the battery is low. And then we have our LAN devices. So our LAN devices can be powered by a battery, 24 volts and PoE. So same thing here. If the 24 volts fail, the PoE can kick in. If the PoE fails, the battery kicks in. So the measurements will always be made and the data will always be stored onto the data logger. The wireless devices then communicate to a gateway. This gateway is powered via 24 volts and PoE. The gateway, however, doesn't save any values. It's just a transmission from wireless to wired. So then the gateway and the LAN data logger will communicate with the server, so uh, the software and the database on the server. And so here we have an encrypted communication. So this is an AES-128 Diffie-Hillman key exchange algorithm that's set up on uh, the LAN devices. And then in point three here, we have our IT policy. So all of the data is stored within an SQL database. And here it's up to either your IT or the customer's IT to ensure that nobody has access to the server and to the SQL database. The SQL database can also be password protected. Or Rotronic also offer a cloud solution. So public and exclusive cloud where nobody has access to the SQL data bank, ensuring that the data is never uh, tampered with or never changed. Um, the software also recognizes where the data is coming from. So there's a check um, based upon a unique ID. So this is the unique ID of the software together with the unique ID of the hardware. So we're sure where the data comes from and uh, we're sure that we don't confuse mixed data. So all of the data is stored uh, within the SQL database. 
and a user like myself, I log in through the web page like I've just done through a secure data access or HTTPS connection and I can log on and I can only read data. So here, for example, in my charts, if I open up an application, for example, additive manufacturing here, I can see measurement, measurement values, but I have no access to the raw data. I can turn, uh, for example, I can inhibit alarms. Uh, I click on OK. And then I can see in my audit trail that I've inhibited alarms. So here, uh, the user 4562 PST applications has inhibited um, a, uh, a measuring point, so in additive manufacturing. But I can't delete anything, I can't remove anything, or I can't change anything. So everything stays in the system. And this is how uh, RMS helps you with your uh, data integrity. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us uh, via our website, uh, via rms-support at and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much for listening.